In Big Brother, there are two main competitions each week, the HOH and the Veto. Like all things in life, these competitions were not created equally. The HOH is the powerhouse of the cell, I mean of the house, and dictate everything that happens. They are safe, and they decide the options on who goes home for the week. The Veto, on the other hand, well, it's much less powerful. It keeps you safe for sure, and it lets you take someone off the block, but that's it. You don't name the replacement, you don't get any sort of control, you just get to hand out a little bit of safety. However, for whatever reason, winning the veto oftentimes happens to be so much f***ing cooler than winning HOH. If your life's on the line and you pull through and win the veto, it's absolutely must-see TV. And if you are a perpetual target and continue to win the veto over and over again, well, you oftentimes cement yourself as a legend in the game. Throughout Big Brother's history, we have had a handful of players just dominate in the veto competitions and are aptly named Veto Kings and Queens. For this list, we are looking over the players that have won four or more veto competitions in a single season and seeing how they did it. Were they always in trouble and came in clutch time after time, or were they the gatekeepers to safety, standing in the way of those actually in danger while they shut the door on their last lifeline in the house? Today, we are looking at the history of veto beasts in Big Brother. Up until Big Brother 6, nobody had won more than two POVs in a season, but that was all about to change. The original Veto King, and often touted as one of the greatest Veto players of all time, James Ryan in Big Brother 6 could not be evicted in the early stage of the game as he was a Veto machine, and he won the Veto in about every way you could imagine. In week two, James was not the target, and he won the veto in order to keep the nominations the same. In week three, James was on the block, but ended up not being the target and had the majority of veto players let James take the win. In week four, James was on the block alongside Kaser, and the veto practically determined who would go home. It was a battle between James and Sarah versus Kaser and Janelle, and James and Sarah triumphed as they managed to get Sarah the win so she could use it on James and have them both be safe. So this one is more like a half win for James. In week five, James was on the block alongside Sarah and won the veto because everyone else messed up and handed him the win. Then in week seven, James won the veto while not on the block and decided to leave the nominations intact. But this was his last veto win for the season as he was ultimately backdoored the following week. Throughout all of Big Brother 6, James competed in five power of veto competitions. And of those five, he won four. And the fifth one, he helped his girlfriend Sarah win so she could use it on James and keep them both safe. James was basically batting a thousand during the season and solidified a really tough standard for what it took to be veto royalty. Six minutes, 31 seconds. James, you are now the holder of the Golden Power of Veto. Congratulations. Howie, you're eliminated from the game, and James, you are the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. I needed to win this veto more than anything. Just like every damn week, you know, I need to win this thing and stay here another week. Power of veto goes to James. Oh, again. He won it again. He didn't even win it. We freaking gave it to him. Oh my God. James, you are today's veto winner. Holy Congratulations. I got the veto. I'm safe for another week. Um, Nothing else really matters right now. Just one season after James set the veto record at four official wins, house guest Janelle swooped in to prove that she could do it even better. It all started in week one when Janelle was the HOH and she decided that she wanted to have all of the power for the week and went on to win the first veto of the summer. Following this, Janelle would no longer have the luxury to just win the veto for fun as she would be a massive target and constantly had to fight for her life. In week five, Janelle was nominated next to James and was the target for the week, but Janelle went out there and won the veto to save herself. Then in week seven, 
Janelle was once more nominated for eviction and a potential target before she went into the veto competition and took out James, the previous record holder, and won the veto to secure her safety again. Then, in week eight, Janelle was nominated for the third time and went on to win the veto while on the block for the third time, her fourth overall veto of the summer. And to tie everything together, Janelle went on to win the final veto of the summer at the final four to guarantee her spot in the end, giving her five veto wins for the season and making her the undisputed greatest competitor of all time up until that point. Janelle! And the veto winner is... Danielle was gunning for me to get out of this house and I think that her worst nightmare just happened. Oops, too bad, so sad. I'm gonna be here another week. I gotta give it up. I gotta give it up. Unbelievable. Janelle, you have won the power of veto. Janelle's time is... One minute! <laughs> All right, well, I didn't win. <laughs> Thank you. Janelle, you have won the Golden Power Vino once again. <laughs> okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto winner, who could it be? Oh, it's Janelle. Congratulations. Thank you. Yet again. <laughs> Seeing the trend of having a veto beast in back-to-back -back seasons, Danny Donato Briones was not going to be the one to end the streak. Danny started the season off hot by not just winning the first veto, but also winning the second veto of the summer as well, being the first to ever win the first two vetoes in a season. The first veto, she wasn't a target, but in week two, she was on the block alongside her dad, so winning that veto was extremely clutch and crucial for her game moving forward. Danny's next veto win came in week seven while she was the HOH, and that veto win solidified her having all of the power to send Jen Johnson home. In week 9, Danny won the veto comp hosted by none other than the veto queen herself, Janelle, in order to ensure her and her dad's safety for the week. And Danny, like Janelle, closed out the season by winning the final veto of the summer while on the block, which she chose to use on her dad instead of herself, as she knew it didn't matter, which closed out a very impressive competition run for Danny, as she, like Janelle, had won 5 vetoes throughout the season and tied the single season record. You did not win the power of veto. Congratulations, Danielle. You won the first power of veto. Thank you. Good job. Danielle, you are the winner of the curling challenge. And the winner of the veto. 35%. Yes! Danielle, with an answer of 46%. Woo! Congratulations, Danielle. Woo! You have won the power of veto. Danielle is just tearing through this place. She's killing it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, very nice. Danielle. Yay, the veto wow. queen. I love it. Yay. Yay. Take it off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Final oh, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Nice job. Wow, 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 wow. It feels amazing. Number five. I'm so excited. After having back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back seasons with Vito Beast, we would go a long, long time before we had someone else join their ranks. In Big Brother 14, house guest Shane was a real competition beast. In week one, he was chosen to play in the veto and just narrowly beat out Willie Hans to win the veto. Then in week two, Shane was nominated and potentially in danger, but was able to go out and win the veto to secure his safety. And right after this, in week three, Shane Shane was the HOH and won the veto to secure that the week played out exactly as he wanted. Well, kinda. I need a decision now. 
For those of you keeping track at home, you might have realized that Shane won all three of the first three vetoes of the summer, which is not only impressive as he is still the only person in the history of the show to do that, but he also did so in the three different ways that you can play the veto. He won once as the HOH, he won once as a nominee, and he won once as someone drawn to play for the veto. After starting off extremely hot, Shane went basically the rest of the season without winning a veto before coming into the final five where he was secretly a target, but he unknowingly secured his safety by winning the final five veto. This was the last veto Shane would win as he was then blindsided after losing the final four veto, but winning four vetoes in one summer is still extremely impressive and Shane definitely qualifies as a veto beast. Represent VT right here, bringing home the power of Vito. You have all 16 yeah, correct. Baby. You win Woo! the power of Vito. <laughs> Number two in a row, baby. That's what you get, America. I needed this to stay alive in this game, and I'm still here for another week. Catch it. Yeah. Congratulations, Shane. You've won the power of Vito. I did it, third power veto in a row. I got the power this week. So happy. <laughs> Shane, you've won the golden power of veto. Thanks, Bubba. Appreciate it. <laughs> Number four, I did it again, it's been a while. Fast forwarding yet another few seasons, Big Brother 17 introduced us to the rock star dentist, Johnny Mac. In both weeks two and three, Johnny Mac was put up as a pawn to throw the battle of the block and then fight for his life in the veto. And in both weeks, Johnny Mac blew the competition out of the water and won the veto each time, making him an early comp threat. Johnny Mac took a few weeks off from winning the vetoes until the first double eviction in week seven, where he went on to win his third veto. And for the first time, he didn't need to save himself. So he kept the nominations the same. Since I can't use it on myself, I'm not gonna use it on anyone, I'm sorry. Then finally, with his life on the line at the final five, Johnny Mac thankfully foregoed his promise to throw the veto and won it, solidifying himself as a veto king and guaranteeing his spot in the final four, where he unfortunately was bested by Vanessa in the final veto and was evicted in fourth place. But this doesn't take away from his very impressive veto performances all season long, and Johnny Mac became the fifth member of the veto royal household. The elevator opens, I'm like, where is the giraffe? You can't fit a giraffe in an elevator. Johnny Mac pulling out the veto. Oh, it's so shiny, I love it. <laughs> ah, John wins! Buddy, how's it been? I haven't seen you in like a week. It's been pretty good, John. I'm the power of veto. I do whatever the hell I want. Veto. Yeah! Thank you. Whoa! Yes! I was going home, but then my friend Mr. Vito showed up again. We are with the final four. Let's keep going and kill it. Yeah! It's at this point that we're going to see a lot of consecutive seasons with Veto Beast. Maybe it's just because of the larger cast that allows for more opportunities to win numerous vetoes, but for whatever reason, the Veto Royal family almost doubles in size. To start off, we get Paul and Big Brother 19. In the pre-jury phase, when Paul had power, they made sure that they had all the power, because in weeks two and five, Paul was the HOH and fought hard to win the veto during both of these weeks as well, and they were successful. In week two, Paul won the veto and saved Josh. In week five, Paul won the veto and saved Jason. Continuing this quote-unquote friendship, Paul continued their streak of winning veto and using it on one of the nominees as in week 10, they won the veto and used it on Alex. I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but if I had to guess, I would guess that Paul is the only player in the entire history of the show to use the veto to save someone else all three times that they won the veto. Although Paul wasn't done winning the vetoes just yet, they were done with this friendship tactic as they won the veto at the final five and chose not to use it, and then they won the final veto of the summer as well and chose not to use it once more. Paul was an absolute veto beast in Big Brother 19 and is, to this day, the only non-female player to win five vetoes in a single season, and they absolutely deserve their placement amongst the veto kings and queens. Four thirty-seven. Yeah. 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 
you are the winner. Home? You're taking a home with Big E under the water with 22 points. Punch. Paul, you have won the golden power of Vito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, friendship! Friendship! Woo! Looks like all those beatings were worth it. Thanks to me, myself, and I, I have the veto, and I get to split up another pair of the house. You win the power of veto! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Paul. You have won the final veto of the summer. I won the veto. I won the H2H this week. I control the whole week. This is the most important week, and I cannot wait because I get to pave the path to the end of this game and hopefully straight into that final two chair. Next up in Big Brother 20, for the first time, we have a double-headed dragon. This is because we have a veto king in the first half of the season, and then we have a veto queen in the second half. After throwing the week one veto at the very end of the comp, Tyler Crispin won the week two veto and used it to orchestrate the back door of Swaggy C. Then, after throwing the week three veto, Tyler won the week five veto and didn't use it, knowing that a close ally of his would be put up if he did. In week six, Tyler was nominated by the hacker and was sort of in danger for the first time all season, but Tyler went out to compete and ended up coming in first in the veto competition for the third time this season. However, in the reason why Tyler is only kind of a veto beast, Tyler chose to let Angelo win the veto and he instead took Brett's Hawaii vacation, knowing that Angelo would use the veto to save him. So even though he came in first in the veto comp, he didn't actually win the veto. But to prove that he still ran the early veto competitions, Tyler went on to win the week seven veto to save Angela and to ensure level six's safety. In the first seven weeks of the game, Tyler competed in six of the vetoes. Of these six, Tyler threw two of them and then he came in first for the other four. That's pretty freaking impressive. 13 minutes and 12 seconds. Congratulations, Tyler. You have won the golden power of veto. So I got the veto. I'm stoked. But on the other hand, I'm not that stoked. Oh! Did you just like just yeah. throw up the swings and they organize themselves? Yeah. Yeah, Would you look at that? Guys, you got it, come on. Wow. Congratulations, Tyler. What up, Hacker? Where you at? Let's go. I brought you Swaggy Quill with Caitlin oil. That was the correct medicine. You have won the golden power of Vito. Come on, let's go. She got the wrong bottle. She got the wrong bottle. What? But from here on out, it's as if Tyler handed off the baton to his ride or die, Casey Clark. Casey had incredibly bad veto luck and wasn't chosen to play in the first five vetoes of the summer. But once she started playing in the comps, she started cooking. In week nine, Casey won her first non-hacker comp of the summer and just bested Fessy in order to win the veto. Following this, Casey won the week 10 veto as well. And continuing the hot streak, Casey won the week 11 veto while being the HOH, which also happened to be her third consecutive veto win. After failing to win the double eviction veto, Casey's streak restarted and she closed out the season by winning the final five veto to secure her safety and topped it all off by winning the final veto of the summer against Angela when her life was on the line. Not only did Casey win five vetoes, tying the all-time record, but she won five of the last six vetoes of the summer, completely dominating and dictating the veto action for practically the last half of the season. Funnily enough, Casey went on to become the first winner in Big Brother history to win with more than two veto wins, and she had five. Casey is definitely a top-tier veto competitor and earned her spot at the table among the veto greats, and Tyler gets a junior seat for his 3.5 veto wins. 33. Let's go! And Casey won the power of veto. Let's go! Let's go! That's a dog. And Casey wins Let's the go! power of veto. Look what I got. Two weeks in a row. I might as well just keep this on at all times. Casey is the Vito Woo! Queen! Yeah, Vito Queen one more time. Four Vito wins and top four in Big Brother 20, baby. Let's go. Congratulations, Casey. You have won the power of Veto. Let's go! Oh, Casey! Let's what? Go! Casey, I, yo, I, I can't.
cannot believe that I came through with my fifth veto win and the last veto at that. Immediately after Big Brother 20, Jackson Mickey came in and wanted a spot at the veto table too. He was nominated in week four and possibly would have gone home had he not come in clutch and won the veto to save himself. Then in week eight, Jackson won the veto while being the HOH to give him all of the power for the week. And then he followed this up in week nine by winning the veto once more while his showman's Holly was in power, meaning the two dictated all of the game for those two weeks. To wrap things up, Jackson went on to somehow win the final veto of the summer despite many costly mistakes, which gave him his fourth veto win of the season and just barely gave him enough wins to be considered a veto beast. It wasn't always pretty, but Jackson came through and won the veto four times, and it helped him go on to win the season. Two minutes and 59 seconds! So you play chess and not checkers. Yes! Shut wow. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Mickey! Yes! So, you called me a pompous douchebag, but you're welcome, Zingbot, because I just freed you with a veto. Say thank you, pompous douchebag. <laughs> Nicole! Oh my god. And that means the winner is Mickey! I thought I lost. I thought I lost it. Thought I lost. It's okay. <laughs> And now, lastly, as of now, we have Cody in Big Brother 22. Very similar to Jackson in Big Brother 21, Cody was just a competition beast and won his veto sporadically throughout the season to make him a veto king. He started out in week three by crushing the veto comp to ensure that the veto wouldn't be used and that Janelle would be evicted. Then in week eight, Cody was supposed to be the first out in the OTEV comp before learning that David decided to take some money instead of continuing on in the competition. So Cody used his second chance in the game and won the veto while he was the HOH in order to ensure that his target Kevin would finally be evicted from the house. Cody then followed this up in week nine by once more winning both the HOH and the veto to ensure that junior veto beast Tyler would be evicted once and for all. Following the weeks of total power for basically the only time all season long, Cody found himself vulnerable at the final four and needed to win the veto to ensure his safety. And Cody, like many veto beasts before him, closed out the season with the veto win, winning his fourth and most important veto all summer long and earning not only only his safety, but his spot as a veto beast as well. That one crushed me, man. Good job, dude. Congratulations, Cody. You have won the golden power of veto. I'm super pumped to win this veto. Janelle Starr and the Bailey Band. Congratulations, Cody. You have won my eternal gratitude. Four minutes and 57 seconds. That means I am the winner of the Golden Power Veto. I have three HOHs, this is now my third veto, and I'm building that resume. Congratulations, Cody. You have won the final Golden Power of Veto. Final Golden Power of Veto is mine. Oh, this veto is so important and I needed it. And there we go. Through 23 seasons of Big Brother, we have had nine players officially win four or more vetoes, and they have solidified themselves as veto royalty. Some of them needed to win each veto to ensure their safety in the house, while others just won them to make sure that nobody else had that power. Regardless, each of these players earned their spots among the greats and have proven that with enough grit, you can win basically any comp that is thrown your way. Now, it has come to my attention that a certain player inside the Big Brother 24 house has been fooling around with winning vetoes left and right. Could Michael become a veto king before the season ends? I certainly hope so. Both of his wins were pretty crucial for his game, and I'd love to see him continue the streak, but we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. As I always do, I need to give that extra special shout out to all of my YouTube members who would without a doubt beast it out in the veto comps if they were inside the Big Brother house. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. WWJD, what would Janelle do? I won the first power veto. <laughs> Janelle would get out there and win the veto. She would fight her ass off. Oh, I Oh my god, I just won the golden power of veto. This one's for you, Janelle. And my fiance, of course. <laughs>